This is the Cholo News Report for Wednesday 01, May 2019. At midnight, the Japanese era Raiwa, then Crown Prince Naruhito, right, and Crown Princess Masako, second right, are seen before the commencement of Emperor Okihito's Tairaisiden Oki abdication ceremony in the Matsuno Morum, at the Imperial Palace in Tokyo's Chiyoda Ward, on April 30, 2019. The Imperial's accession came in accordance with the Constitution, and a special law allowing 85-year-old Emperor Okihito to abdicate. New Emperor Naruhito will attend ceremonies related to his enthronement on May 1st, which are part of acts in matters of state. At midnight, the Japanese era Raiwa, Okihito, who will now be known as Emperor Emeritus, had ended himself to many Japanese people during his reign through his interactions with those suffering from disease and disaster. I swear that I will reflect deeply on the course followed by the Emperor Emeritus and fulfill my responsibility as the symbol of the state and of the unity of the people of Japan. But on Wednesday, morning his place was formalized as he symbolically took possession of the sacred imperial regalia a sword and a gem that have been passed down through the generations with the arrival of the Heisei era, however, Japan began to show signs of suffering from a kind of restless leg syndrome that stirred it from that sleep, with rapid increases in arms imports accompanied by efforts to mobilize its self-defense forces. Thousands more, including Nobel Prize-winning physicist Toshi Hyde Maskawa and survivors of World War II air raids, sued the government over the legislation, which they said violated their constitutional right to live in peace as Japan could become the target of armed attacks, and terrorism should it become embroiled in warfare. In Britain, Queen Elizabeth II has sat on the throne for more than six decades, and royal successors in the Netherlands, Belgium, Sweden, Norway and Spain are all young women. The Canadian Tendler Note, featuring Canadian civil rights activist Viola Desmond, wins the International Bank Note Society Award. Desmond, a black business woman from Nova Scotia, stood at the forefront of Canada's early civil rights movement when she refused to vacate a whites only area of a theatre in 1946. The organization considers the artistic merit, design, use of color, contrast, balance, and security features of each nominated banknote. This year, Switzerland made second place with its 200 franc note, which features a human hand with fingers pointing in the three spatial dimensions in which matter expands. U.S. Attorney General William Barr has decided to recuse himself from deliberations about whether the antitrust division of the U.S. Justice Department ought to challenge the planned merger of T-Mobile and Sprint, says a Reuters source familiar with the decision. Barr is invested in both of the firms involved. T-Mobile announced on Monday that the companies were extending a deadline to complete their deal to July 29. Regulators are expected to make a decision on the deal in early June. They will be weighing a potential loss of competition and subsequently higher prices for consumers against the prospect of a more powerful note.